in the world that you work in and deal with, uh, where people are interacting, consumers I mean through smartphones like yours, and demanding products or services being delivered to them, uh, or smarter touch points. What does this all mean for this whole ecosystem in which you are an integral part right down to the point where you are creating the supply of talent? So first of all, you know, when we think of data or data science, uh, we somehow get a very formidable imagery of complex mathematics. Hmm. That is only one part of it. But also look at the fact that every person with a smartphone is a photographer now. Hmm. Okay, not just still, but video. Hmm. So that is a ton of data as well. And we've always said that a picture is worth a thousand words. So you now are beginning to see the integration of images, text, numbers, all of that coming together to present information in a much richer form. So, and it's starting with the consumer. I think that's the big difference. Mm -hmm. It's not starting with the CIO. Mm -hmm. It's not starting with a smart researcher you have in, mm -hmm. with a PhD. It's starting with the end consumer in whose hand is a very information rich data rich device hmm. and they are capturing that information <clears throat> and everything they capture gets onto Facebook or Twitter or wherever so there is a huge explosion of data in many forms. Hmm. So this is actually now consumer driven hmm. so they are in a position to send that information hmm. and in return they don't want just some two lines of stuff they want equally rich hmm. forms of information. Experience. This is the the starting the, point. The starting point. Yeah. Okay. So now, as information scientists or as computer scientists, what do we have to do? We have to manage this massive explosion of all forms of data, and then put, you know, tags on it if you want, or categorization, and store it and organize it, so that the next time somebody has a question, which could be the same consumer, your ability to, you know, work through this massive data to see patterns and trends, and then give them an answer. The complexity of that and the volume of that has gone through the roof. Mm. So this is an oversimplified version, but the important thing to remember is the end user and the consumer is the, is the source of much of this data mm. and has got accustomed to a very rich interface. Right. And so that's, your, that's, and that's where the demand the is coming from. Yeah. Right. Demand so, and the nature of demand. Right. And, and tell us about the supply side of this and how are you uh, as, as a group with presence in various uh, sort of uh, aspects of this value chain catering to this? So a very large number of projects in the last many years around subjects which you will now say need data science or whatever, it has kind of incrementally grown over a period of time. And always starting with, you know, what does the consumer have in their hand and where are they starting? So mm. a lot of our customers, old as well as new ones, are wanting that consumer experience, whether it's a cab company where the customer coming on a flight gets not just a notification but the face of the driver hmm. the driver gets the face hmm. and so so did you things, work on that yeah we've yeah, been, okay, we've been doing that okay. for a large american firm so that through to all other kinds of transactions so it is just that the the media rich nature of the device in the hands of the consumer has come into the equation hmm. and changed the picture and made it richer much more vast so what that translates into is very much larger volumes of data that comes in. So a picture, a picture is much more than a mm. thousand words in that mm. sense. And then you have to organize it, process it, categorize mm. it, and, and then cull out mm. the meaning of it. Yeah. So and get the signal so from the noise. we have a very big ga gaming company in Las Vegas, mm. which profiles its consumer to a level of detail you'd be surprised to know. Mm. And we heard some examples today of mm. the person was talking about a uh, gaming company, and he said that you checked into that hotel mm. and you're playing the game and you're losing money and suddenly you'll get a notification that says free dinner mm. okay from the same place so mm. it is um, it's been a, it's not a kind of a sharp right, right or left it's been a continuum mm. for companies who are in the cutting edge that becomes a starting point and that's a business in itself that also then informs mm. the education part of the or not the education company to look at what do now, what do companies need, what skills do they need. And so the subject of data sciences is becoming an important area. So that's not a one week program or a one month program. There actually it's much more a master's subject. And is it the hottest new thing that people want it's, to do? It's everybody's talking about it, the numbers haven't quite built up hmm. because the front end task hmm. 
for our software companies to go and propose a solution which needs all of this. That uh, proposition building skill is being built from our experience and this mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. But to me the back end large numbers which are required I think that is being now prepared. So uh, we have a university as you know in India. Mm -hmm. So a masters in data sciences is now getting launched. Mm -hmm. And that has got launched by working with three leading IT companies mm. who want a talent pipeline. Mm. So who are actually informing mm. us what in their view is what data science is, is for the kind of projects they see. Right. And, and so, you know, to come back to where we started, we're saying if we are shaping the future of digitization or the digital future, data science, the understanding of it and the ability to mine large amounts of information to find the signal from the noise is really a critical component going forward. In Would that much be of it, not yeah. all of it, in yeah. much of it, yeah. I think it, in much of it is that. Hmm. In, in a lot of it is also about very media rich information. Hmm. It may not be huge volume, hmm. but it, the, the volume comes because of the quality of you know, the, the information and the imagery you have. So hmm. the volume is large because there are very high res pictures for example. Hmm. So it may be much more about processing hmm. imagery hmm. and images. Hmm. So if you look at the whole area of geographical information systems. It's not millions of images you have to search from, mm. but very high quality images of a certain type. So it is this processing which is required and it could at one end be a lot of statistics, it could be a lot of mathematics or it could be algorithms and some of it is already there in large numbers. Right. But I guess just like we managed to bring in at one time a very large number of commerce students to learn IT mm. because financial systems had to be built. Mm. Now we have to motivate the maths and the statistics students to come in and look at data sciences. Mm -hmm. We are having to motivate geography students for geographical information systems. So this crossovers are happening at the educational level. Mm -hmm. But fortunately this country has unlimited talent.